and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. Today, I'm going to be going over the best players at each position. Now, you guys have been asking me to do this for quite a while. Now, I have done the top players. I've done the top 10 players. But I haven't done the best players at each position, which pretty much covers every position. So, you don't have to feel like I'm forgetting some. Like, the top 10 list, sometimes I'm a little defensive bias. Sometimes I'm offensive bias. It really depends on my mindset of Madden at that point in time. So, for this one, we're going to be going over the top players at each position. Some will have more than others. Some will be like one. Sometimes it's just one. Like, sometimes it's just like what quarterback. You got like that one guy right now, you know what I'm talking about? Quarterback maybe two, running back to just one, you know what I'm saying? Like some of them might be even three, some of them, it really just depends on the position. Now guys, I have a frozen pizza in the oven right now. My house may go on fire. I gotta get through this video. I gotta run back and eat that pizza. I'm starving right now. So let's get through this because I'm hungry as hell right now. Now guys, before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys, come join the family. Appreciate you guys every each and every day. I really do. We're gonna hit 20k by the end of February. It's our goal. The next big milestone on this journey as a YouTuber. Let's keep it going, guys. Comment down below if you guys have any arguments to be made about the players I pick. It helps out the community as we get better players down there. In case you guys disagree with someone I said. And let's get this video to 300 likes, guys. Can you smash the like button for me? It'd be greatly appreciated, guys. We're getting this channel back up and running since our big trip, our big break. So let's get the like button popping. It helps me out tremendously. I'm starting off at quarterback. Quarterback, I have a few few footnotes for you guys though, so listen to these carefully. The currently the best quarterback in my opinion in Madden is Russell Wilson Team of the Year. But that does not mean get him. I have to clarify something here. Russell Wilson right now has the best. Oh, oh he's the best balance quarterback. He's not the fast quarterback. He's not the best throwing quarterback, but he is the best of both, which is rare right now because typically you don't get that speed with those throwing stats with Dash and Deadeye and all the chems. It's very rare you get all that. So he, right now, he's probably the best balanced quarterback in Madden 20. But here's the thing. In the next week and a half, we will probably be getting a MVP Lamar Jackson card, as well as a potentially Super Bowl MVP Mahomes, or even just a playoff Mahomes, which Mahomes will probably be a better version of that Russell Wilson. And Lamar Jackson might be the greatest quarterback in the history of Madden at that moment. So I think I'm going to be waiting on quarterback. My best recommendation for you guys is to wait on quarterback. If you don't mind, if you have coins, you want to have fun now, Russell Wilson's your guy. But if you want to be efficient, definitely wait. Coming over to halfback, it is not one of these team of the year cards, sadly. I, I told you guys, I warned you guys. I warned you guys, team of the year would not produce a better running back than Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson is still the greatest running back in Madden. It's just hands down. Power him up, kept him up. You get him to like a 97, 98 speed with Sprinter. Unreal. Bruising back. And do it all. I don't got to talk much about him. It's Bo Jackson. Now, fullback. Patrick Card's a monster. I honestly kind of hoped that I was going to get him out of my pack. 98 lead block's insane. You kept him up. You could power him up. He'll have a 99 lead blocking with damn near 99 impact blocking with an above 90 run blocking. And he can even carry a little bit if you have to throw it to him real quick on something. Guys, this card is going to lay people on their asses as well as be a phenomenal lead block. With The only thing that sucks is speed. His speed could have been a little better. Him or Okoye. Okoye is still great because of his speed, but as far as lead blocking goes, you run up the gut. He will put a linebacker on their ass. Now, wide receivers. Wide receivers still a tough one, guys. Wide receivers is not just cut and dry. So I still think Randy Moss is one of the best wide receivers in Madden right now. Still want to have Randy Moss powered up all the way because that catching, route running, speed height combo is still rare. You still want him. Now, McCall Hardman is a sneaky selection. Now, I still think the overall one that I want to have right now is Randy Moss. Before I go into McCall Hardman, as we go up, I personally don't think these team of the year wide receivers are the ones you want to be going with. I, I just don't. I don't think your speed's great enough. The speed is speed's huge. Speed is like no matter how good your route running is, if your speed's not great, people can do they can catch up. They can bait you a little bit. Like it's just it's it's too hard with this kind of speeds. I think Terrell Owens, McCole Hardman, and Randy Moss. Now McCole Hardman's a sneaky one. He's like a, he's like a if, if 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 it fits your team. Now remember, Tyreek Hill's probably getting a playoff card. So if you want to just wait, Tyreek Hill will have a 99 speed more than likely in the playoffs. You can wait for that card, but for the time being, McCole Hardman on the right team with John Madden athleticism will have a 98 speed with great route running and pretty great catching. Great card, and he can kick return for you. Do quite a few things. Has great acceleration, and his juke and spin. I'm pretty sure are pretty solid too. Yep, solid juke, solid spin. Great card right now. One of the, he's like a running back at wide receiver. He's like a sneaky gadget player, which I think fits in that wide receiver. Now, tight end. Tight end's a little bit weird right now. 
I love Tony Gonzalez, but I also love this new Kittle. Now, here, now I think you need both, okay? My opinion. Tight end, you need two, in just my opinion right now. I have three. Tony Gonzalez is a way better catcher than Kittle, and even a better route runner, but Kittle has that run blocking. I think, okay, if you want to, if you want to, if you use your tight end as a wide receiver, strictly as a wide receiver, and he's your main threat, you got to go Tony Gonzalez. If you use your tight end as a sneaky hidden threat, like I don't use, I don't like target my tight end as my main guy. I don't. I, I, I do on some game plans, but my main game plan doesn't use my tight end as like a, a in, in, in the red zone, going on a, on a seam, doing out. No, my, my tight end does over the middle routes. If he's open, he's open, I throw it to him. He's not my main look all the time though. So the point being with that is that Kittle is the perfect guy for that. When you see Kittle on the field, you see Tony G, you're on him. To George Kittle though is a blocker first, which is, which is amazing for me because he has the stats of a lineman, but he also can receive close to Tony Gonzalez with great speed. And powered up and kept up is actually faster than Gonzalez. So he's sneaky good. You know, when you, I, I, he will block for you all game. He'll run routes. And when you find him open, he can bake that burner route. He can make big plays. He can block. I think you want both. Preferably, if you can only afford one, to use him as a receiver. It's Tony Gonzalez. If you run, if you're more run heavy, use Kittle because he can still do similar to what Gonzalez can do, but he can also do a mix of other things. Linemen, guys, all across the board, team of the year linemen. I mean, powered up and chemmed up. They're damn near end game. Uh, I mean, linemen for me, I don't always go all out. I don't always, I don't always get the ultimate legend linemen. Sometimes I just, I get team of the year linemen. Usually, I power them up, and that's it for the year. So for me personally, all the team of the year linemen, I'm not gonna waste time on them because that's gonna take forever. But as far as linemen go, team of the year linemen across the board, you can pick up all of them, power them up, chem them up, and you probably have them for the rest of the year. Obviously, there's preferences of run blocking versus pass blocking. But that's for you guys to decide. Left end, Calais Campbell is pretty great. Gonna be honest with you guys, he's a great left end, but. I think I like Strahan. I think I like Strahan. See, the strength and tackling are close. Play Rex worse and the block shed's a bit worse. Strahan's a better pass rusher and way more athletic. I still think right now Strahan's the better option. Because at this point in Madden, with all the escape artists and all the... Trust me, Calais Campbell... It is... Madden isn't what it used to be. Back in older Maddens, when the left and got in the backfield without escape artists, you used to kind of be able to maybe get to him before the quarterback could accelerate. QB spies used to be automatic in that Madden. There was a time when QB spies, like if they had a QB spy out, you could not get around him. Now with escape artists, you can just zigzag around them. So left end, if you put him in a QB spy, he's toast. If he ends up one-on-one -on -one with Lamar Jackson, you just arc around him. Michael Strand has enough acceleration that he could probably take an angle and catch up to speed enough to stop someone. And if a running back goes on like a, on a stretch and Strahan gets unblocked, he can at least chase Jackson to the, to the outside and force him to wait a little bit. That's the biggest thing, right? On an inside zone, or like outside zone, where you have to stop them a little bit so that they get forced outside a little bit more and you could have guys come over the top. With Michael Strait, with Clay Campbell, he's not gonna be able to chase Jackson. Bo Jackson run right to the right and right up. Once you cut up field on, on an outside zone, like a stretch, you have a pretty big play coming your way. I still think Strait's better. He's a better pass rusher and he's way more athletic. Clay Campbell has more of a defensive tackle type build where I would love him at, at DT if you put him there, he's great. I still think you wanna be going with Michael Strahan there. And right end, it's just, it's, it's, Set it and forget it. I think that he's endgame. I think Aaron Donald, I think if you power up Aaron Donald and come up, you could have him from now to the last day of this game. He will have a 99 power move on the right team, 99 block shed, close to 99 finesse move, great athleticism, 99 strength, end game card. Book it. Power Aaron Donald up, and that last year, same thing. He got his MVP card last year, his defensive player of the year card, I mean. Powered him up, done for the year, right end. That's my personal opinion. Defensive tackle between Grady, Grady Jarrett and Geno Atkins. Now, Grady Jarrett looks looks pretty average. Doesn't look like insane. Great block shed. Great power. That's huge. First off, he can stop the run and he can pass rush a little bit with great athleticism for a defensive tackle. 86 86 acceleration is great. 70 speed's a little bit low, so that's great. Now you got to compare him to the Geno Atkins card, right? I don't want to just give you guys my pick. I want to show you guys why I do these picks. I feel like it's a little bit more informative. And there's Geno Atkins. Geno Atkins is slightly more athletic with. It's a flip, right? Would you rather have better pass rushing or better block shedding? And then his, his play rec. I personally think I like Geno Atkins a little bit more. Because the block shed is important, right? For the run stuffing. But if you get a pass rush off your defensive tackle, that's huge. I'm not going to lie. Defensive tackles have the quickest lane to the quarterback right there. If they get that initial shed, the quarterback has to come outside. And typically Lawrence Taylor is eating someone's ass on the left side of the... Like, I'm not even joking. My defensive tackle gets a block shed... And I force the quarterback out right away. 
Lawrence Taylor's like eating the ass of the left tackle, just ready to go to kill the quarterback. So I personally like that because that means you don't let them get those easy lanes up the middle. The play wreck's great, and he's a little bit faster. 72 speed's a little bit low on Grady Jarrett. That plus seven speed's gonna make a big difference because with the skate artists this year, it's really hard to get quarterbacks. I don't know, it's, it's a throw up. I personally, you know, it's a little bit cheaper too. Probably some of you guys probably, you probably care about that a little bit more. Then, um, I, I mean, I think it's important. Coming in outside linebacker. This one, this one was tough. I think I have to still go with Khalil Mack. You can look at Zadarius Smith all you want. Zadarius Smith is great as a pass rusher. Pretty good athleticism, but Khalil Mack's got to be the move still. He has to be the move still. He's more athletic. He can do everything. He's more well-rounded in my opinion. I think you need the athleticism. I think 84 speed for Zadarius Smith is a little slow. I'd personally rather Khalil Mack power him up, set it and forget it. Although we might be getting some more during the Super Bowl promo, so you could wait on that. Middle linebacker. Okay, right now, Luke Keekley is probably the best middle linebacker because you can power him up to his career tribute. So I'd go with Luke Keekley right now. Luke Keekley is obviously the best one. You can power him up, chem him up all the way with his career tribute. He gets like a 91 speed, 92 speed on the team. The only concern about Luke Keekley is he's not endgame. For now, he's the best, but he's not endgame, guys. He's not endgame at all because although he's, this is going to be like his final card for the year, more than likely. His uh, team of the year uh, tribute, once you have everything set and done. His career tribute, I should say. Let me show you guys that one a little bit better so you guys have an idea. Oh, uh, it's not going to, of course, it's not there. So you power up his career tribute, but it's not going to be endgame because you only have like a 92 speed. 91 speed, and that is not endgame. Most middle linebackers been in the year. We'll probably have somewhere in the range of like, I'd have to say 97, 96 speeds, kind of what we're going to be endgame more likely because you can power that up. So Keekly's good for now. Don't think he's endgame, but he's still a solid, solid choice. As well as right outside linebacker. Lawrence Taylor, in my opinion, is still the best guy to go. I mean, Chandler Jones is great and all. I think you I think you power up Lawrence Taylor now. You chem him up, you max him out, and you wait for his ultimate legend card. You set it for, you set it and forget it, and you're done for the year. It's very simple. Now, cornerback, this one's tough. So I was looking through it. I think there's three guys. Deion Sanders for sure. Have Deion Sanders powered up NFL 100. I think you guys already have seen his stats right now. I'm gonna go over him. He's an endgame card. You always want a Deion on your life. You get Deion Sanders, you power him, chem him up, and he'll get an ultimate legend card. Your end game. Deion's end game, right? Set that one. Champ Bailey. I think Champ Bailey's an end game card. I think Champ Bailey's one of the guys you power up, chem up. He'll get an ultimate legend card. If you have Champ and Deion on both sides, you're gonna have a crazy athletic secondary. Because if they get any picks, they're offensive players too. I think, in my opinion, you want Champ and Deion on both sides, end game. And then, as a third guy for the time being, I think Tre Davis White. Tre Davis White. Fully powered up, chemmed up, has a like 96 speed. With If you have Sprinter 97, if you have John Madden Athleticism, you can get into like a 97, 98. With a damn near, like probably 96, 97 zone in man. With a 99 press, with like a 97, 98 play rec. Great agility, great athleticism, great everything. The only thing is his jumping kind of sucks, but you have him, Champ, and Dion, you're going to lock people down. Now, free safety, guys. Mink is great but I don't think he's the one right now. So Minka, the downside is his, is his hip power, in my opinion. I think his downside is his hip power, which is sad to say. His man coverage is awesome, though. So you have to take that into consideration. His man coverage is awesome. But I don't think that is entirely the move, in my opinion. Because it, this one's tough. Okay, it's, it's a throw-up. It's a throw-up for me, right? It's between him and Sean Taylor. As you guys see there. Now go back to Minka. I have Sean Taylor on my team fully powered up so you can compare them. They're both amazing options at free safety. Sean Taylor's a bit faster and a bit taller. A way better tackler, which in a game with a run heavy scheme, a run heavy game, you can't be having Bo Jackson destroying Minka Fitzpatrick. Cause that's just gonna happen. But Minka's the free safety that comes out. Minka's kind of like an Earl Thomas-esque where like if he comes over the top and he has to actually make a secure tackle, Bo Jackson probably stiff arm him. Play wrecking is way better on Minka. Pursuit's better on Sean Taylor. Man's better on Minka. Zone's better on Minka. Hit power's like seven better on Sean Taylor. It's a run heavy gear. So like it's tough. Okay, I think they're pretty even, right? I personally prefer Sean Taylor, but the man coverage is huge. If you're a blitz, if you're a blitz heavy scheme, you might want to go with Minka because you can, you can, you obviously can go. You can blitz heavy with him and he can pick a man of people. It's very tough. Sean Taylor, though, I used my power pass on, so it was kind of free for me. I think I prefer Sean Taylor for myself. Minka saw, if you got it for free, you're fine with Minka. Don't worry about that. But it's definitely a toss up there. Now, strong safety, Jamal Adams or Pat Tillman. Simple. You compare the two, 
very similar very similar cards minus jamal adam has insane man right now it's jamal adams by a landslide it's jamal adams right now but pat tillman should be getting upgrades soon more than likely so then he will be better than pat tillman but for the time being that man coverage and the hit power in that zone that's it's, it's incredible this jamal adams is a godly card right now highly recommend you scoop him for the time being so you get your tillman upgrades but it's up to you guys I'm, i might be waiting because i don't really want to waste the coins on a card that i know will be not like similar that i'll have pretty soon kicker guys i actually really want this card zane gonzalez is insane it's insane 97 kick power guys guys zane gonzalez i have to have him you know how many times i want to kick in, in games like close games i'm like if you're in like the 40 yard line right the 40 38 you're like okay i could probably get this first down like it's it's a playable field when you're like at the 40 a little past the 40 and you're like i wish i could like you know you have to punt but you don't want to punt he fixes that okay i don't have to punt i'll just I'll, I'll kick it right he gives you he extends your field to where you could score like anywhere within the 50 right he gets like that level with good wins too you could score anywhere within the 50 which means that pretty much you could score almost every drive as long as your offense is decent really helps you out in the punter guys again it's got to be trey way i mean it's the, the, the team of the year the, the kickers and punters are kind of irrelevant at this point but punters are more so i love i personally want one just to have one because i never punt because my punter sucks but trey way solid punter solid kicker combo recommend pick up both of them guys that's about it for the video this video has been pretty long I'm gonna cut it short here my pizza's probably on fire right now thank you guys so much for watching if you're already into the channel make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button turn the notify boys come join the family comment down below if you have any argue any argument refute anything down below make sure you give, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up can we get 350 likes in this video it'd be greatly appreciated i'm out see you in the next video peace